Welcome to Technotis. Are you uh, working for the government, NASA, or some other secret agency, MI6, MI5, and you need to carry some very important documents or files? Then uh, this over here is for you. This over here is an external SSD that has hardware encryption. Let's talk about it. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. So then, I'm actually not joking. This is like completely mainstream product. You can go and buy this this right now it's completely available there this is from Kingston this is called the iron key V P 80 ES or vault privacy 80 ES it comes in a little bag like this as well and the actual SSD is inside over here now as you can see it's got a little screen over here it's got a USB-C input and then that's pretty much it that's that's like the SSD case but this is no ordinary external SSD as you can see what the heck is this screen for well it has some pretty impressive secret security features. It's got 256-bit hardware encryption. It's got multiple users and multiple passwords that you can put on there in order to actually access the files on this. You can go on to read-only mode. There is a touchscreen and it's got a randomized keys function on the touchscreen. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to turn this on like this I'm gonna plug it in here as you can see it's turning on then we're gonna tap with precision and now you can see there's a keypad over here and this keypad as you can see the numbers are all over the place here they're not like actually you know one two three four five six seven eight nine like you usually see on a numpad or something like that and the reason they're doing this when you're setting your password at first for example um like a num numeric password by the way you can have uh, like alphabetic or numeric password so basically use either of them whichever one you like more i put the numeric just because it's easier for me to show you this here as well the actual numbers get shuffled every single time you open this screen Screen because now you're gonna put your finger on the screen on different places every single time and someone who might want to hack into this um, SSD can't really take this away and then see where you've touched on the screen and then try to trace kind of the combination of numbers you've used and then trying to figure out kind of the password because now every single time you touch the screen you're touching different places all the time it's just another like security feature even if someone's like trying to peek you from far away trying to figure out like the actual pattern of the passcode then it changes every single time so my passcode was one five nine three five seven one five nine three five seven there we go and now it's gonna give you two options over here we're gonna go to connect and there's also read only mode i'm gonna press connect if i don't choose anything did you see that bar on the bottom there it will just connect it automatically and as you can see on the screen here we are already connected you can see the kingston drive in here so if i go to properties you can see that this is a two terabyte drive 1.9 a terabyte drive and their actual capacity here is 1.7 terabytes so there's a few options of um, the size as well you can go like about 500 gigabytes one terabyte and then two terabytes but kingston has them like in different sizes i think 480 960 and 1000 1.92 terabytes now the thing that i haven't actually tried with this ssd yet is the actual speed so that's what i want to do now we're going to use it for the kingston is d so let's go to D and this is NVMe. I'm going to put the default. Let's see how fast this is. By the way, this also works with Mac and Windows. So no matter which laptops or which you know, operating system uh, you're using, it works with both. Okay, so here we have the results of the actual speed test. But if I'm going to pull out, first of all, like the specifications of this SSD on the Kingston website, it says that speeds up to 250 megabytes per second read and write speeds. But if we look at this over here, we can actually get a little bit higher. As you can see, read is 
267 and right is 254 so we're getting a little bit of faster speed now this isn't like the fastest external ssd that you can get or in fact not even close to that you can easily get it much faster than that but this is mainly to do with like the safety and protection of your files so if that is important to you there is no other external ssd like that for you now it's ssd as well because if it was a hard drive there would be moving particles inside the hard drive but here on this ssd there isn't which means that it's you know a little bit safer when you're transporting your files and so on i just thought it's something that i haven't seen before it's just something completely interesting for you if you are someone who does need the safety of your files somehow i don't think there's anything quite like that now bear in mind when you touch the actual screen and now when it's connected what i can do is i can go lock and disconnect the drive is actually disconnected so if i go to uh, here this pc it's not there i can go unlock put my password in again what was it one five nine uh three five seven and now if i go connect it connects the drive again boom and there it is lock and disconnect if i go unlock now and now i can go to read only as well so now in read only, I can actually see the files on the drive. But then, for example, if you have connected your, you know, SSD here into some kind of a computer that you don't trust, you can go read only mode, which means that it only lets you read the files of it, which means uh, like the computer or someone else can't write some kind of files or bad files or some kind of you know a virus or something like that on your ssd so it protects you from that as well which is pretty cool thing to do so i can't actually copy anything off it but i can uh, read the files on it lock and disconnect power off boom it's gone you can unplug it and then go anyway i'd love to know from you in the comment section below what you guys think about this because i've never heard seen anything like that before let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm curious to know your thoughts likes and subs and i'll see you next time bye bye